might as well take you through this. Um, starters, we'll start at the back, why not? That controls the, oops, that's the uh, UART and an LED latch. It's just got eight LEDs on the side there, that's useful for debugging. If I can get this on while looking through the camera. Um, then you've got the control card, which uh, sequences everything across this ribbon cable here. And you've got the temporary register and the invert, the, the invert logic and the AND logic. Then you've got the work register and the addition logic and the program counters down the back there somewhere. Then you've got the return stack and data stack. So that's the CPU one with the ribbon cables on it. Then we've got the memory. I'll take this one out because it's a bit easier. Then the CPU because you've got the ribbon cable there. So we've got one 512k of memory. That's four 128ks and eight a measly eight kilobytes of ROM, which is enough to get it going. But if I put a hard drive interface on it, it might might be able to use the rest of the memory. That memory is copied. The ROM is copied to the RAM in hardware there's no CPU intervention it happens quite quickly unless, the, unless I'm on the slow clock the clock is on here the triple five timer there and got a 32 bit bus um, there is a 5 megahertz oscillator on the RAM on the control card anyway if I turn it on there's nothing on the terminal of course switch it on and it sits there waiting because it's waiting for me to type my name in. Is that right? Yeah, it is. I'm just looking through the camera, stupid. Anyway, and it works. And it's in the halt state. So that's working. Isn't that wonderful?